Hi, my name is Vinay Kumar Nandikuri. I am the director of Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology and I run a lab named Microbial Signaling Lab. And here we work on various aspects of dreaded pathogen Mycobacterium tuberculosis, which is the causative agent of TB. TB is transmitted at by from person to person through aerosol and mostly in public spaces when a person sneezes once it enters the body it is taken up by the host macrophages where it replicates host comes up with a mechanism to contain the infection by surrounding it with other immune cells eventually coming up with a structure called granuloma if this kind of a granuloma has three different fates if your immunity is very good, it gets eliminated, in which case it becomes ciseated granuloma. If your immunity is not good, you will end up getting an active disease. In other cases, in 95% of the cases, what happens is some kind of a balance is achieved or a ceasefire is achieved, whereby you get latency. We work on various aspects of how this mycobacterium tuberculosis survives in the host and also acquires drug resistance. So our basic work requires various technologies and techniques such as genetics all the way up to molecular biology, cell biology and uh, animal work and host immune work. It is very important to study cell division process for pathogenic bacteria such as mycobacterium tuberculosis because it ensures the growth and infectivity of the bacteria. In our lab, we have been studying this process for more than a decade now and currently we are studying it in the context of DeForay domain containing proteins. We have identified that MTB encodes for multiple such proteins and the project is to investigate how they together coordinate this process. And we have figured that these proteins are very crucial for the survival of bacteria because the deletion of these proteins causes cell death changes in morphology, changes in lipid profile, changes in peptidoglycan structure, indicating that they can serve as very good targets for anti-TB therapy. MTB secretes protein into the extracellular space with the help of three different secretion systems. Generalized sex secretion system, twin arginine tat secretion system, and specialized type 7 secretion system. So, secretion of unfolded proteins into the extracytoplasmic space majorly involved through sex secretion system and the proteins are recognized by the N-terminal signal sequence. While in case of TAG secretion system, the proteins are recognized by a twin arginine motif present in the N-terminal signal sequence of the proteins which are exported through the TAG. We are focusing on genes which are involved in this uh, sex and TAG secretion system genes are essential for the mycobacterial growth. So we are generating a conditional knockdown strains of these genes and we would like to see changes in the secretome in the absence of these genes and also in the context of mycobacterial virulence. MTB as a pathogen, it goes back and forth from its active form of infection to lat latency inside the lung macrophages. So our lab started working on specifically the transcription as it has been shown that whenever it shifts cycle from its latency to its active form, there is a sudden transcriptional outburst. So that's how we came into this, uh, came into the topic of how transcription is regulated in mycobacterium tuberculosis. Mainly transcription occurs in three phases, initiation, elongation and termination. We are right now focusing on initiation and elongation of transcription. So the key players in, in these two processes are sigma factors and NUS proteins and of course the RNA polymerase. So how RNA polymerase, sigma factors and NUS proteins together orchestrate this function of transcription under different stress condition is what the lab is looking right now. Genetic mutations play a very important role in development of antimicrobial resistance in bacteria, posing a significant challenge to modern medicine. To address this issue, it becomes really important for us to identify these mutations first. Our current project focuses on generating a comprehensive whole genome library from around 13,000 clinical MTB samples collected from different parts of the country. Using next-gen sequencing techniques such as Illumina, we aim to identify the most commonly occurring mutations in these strains which leads to emergence of drug resistance in MTB. This information will be really helpful for us in designing future treatment strategies and to fight the emergence of drug-resistant tuberculosis in India.